Hello, I'm Grace Farrell. This is the 86th floor and these are 10 great films that are set at Christmas but that aren't actually about Christmas. So don't expect elves, carols or awkward family dinners. Well, actually you can in one of our entries. Now, most of these are racy, hard-hitting action films with a bit of fantasy thrown in for good measure that just happen to take place in late December. Enjoy! So kicking off at number 10, it's On Her Majesty's Secret Service, the sixth James Bond film and the only one to star George Lazenby as Agent 007. Sometimes referred to as the James Bond Christmas Special, the movie was set primarily in the Swiss Alps with lots of the fight scenes actually taking place on skis. But what really made this movie Christmassy was the fact that Bond actually has a meaningful relationship with his Bond girl and marries her, proving that even James Bond isn't immune to that festive family vibe. At number 9 we have Wes Anderson's dysfunctional family comedy The Royal Tenenbaums. This stylized, star-studded movie chronicles the return of a disgraced father to his home to reconcile with his ex-wife and children. The Christmas element isn't obvious, apart from the scene where Margot and Royal go to the ice cream parlour and a Charlie Brown Christmas is playing in the background. But if you take a step back and look at the wider narrative of the film of an extended family coming together to hash things out, you realise it's more Christmassy than first meets the eye. Having children, but uh, no, no, no. Number eight on our list is 80s action thriller Lethal Weapon, written by the godfather of the anti-Christmas film Shane Black. Starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover as two LAPD cops trying to bust a large-scale heroin operation, Lethal Weapon is a fast-paced crime thriller full of suicide, bombs and shootings. Apart from a brief drug deal at a Christmas tree market, the film does not bring to mind Christmas in any way for anyone. It's only the final scene, where Murta invites Riggs into his family home for Christmas, that the festive spirit really starts to show itself. At number seven, it's Trading Places, a feel-good comedy starring Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy as a rich banker and a homeless man who swap lives as part of a social experiment. Although the movie's not implicitly about Christmas, the festive season is always unfolding in the background. There's the scene at the office Christmas party where Winthorpe is hauled off by police for planting drugs, and then the sweet, sweet revenge on the Duke brothers that takes place in the commodities trading floor on, yep, New Year's Eve. Number six on our list is neo-noir crime thriller LA Confidential, which stars Kevin Spacey, Russell Crowe and Guy Pearce as three LAPD cops trying to solve the Night Owl murder. It's set in the early 50s in the aftermath of the real-life bloody Christmas scandal which exposed the LAPD's violent practice. Apart from its December setting and a few festive decorations, LA Confidential is definitely not a Christmas film, making it a perfect cinematic escape from the endless m and adverts and Mariah Carey. A bit of fantasy now at number five, it's Tim Burton's un-Christmas classic, Edward Scissorhands. This is one of the more obviously festive movies on the list, but then again, it's about a guy that has full Swiss army knives as fingers, so it's not exactly traditional. Part gothic fantasy, part suburban soap opera, the movie demonstrates the importance of family values and kitsch Christmas trees. Best of all, it tells the story of where snow comes from. Turns out, snow's just the shavings that are created whenever Edward Scissorhands makes ice sculptures. So there you go. At number four, we move away from fantasy and back into hardcore action with the original Die Hard, the ultimate anti-Christmas movie and one of the greatest action films of all time. Amidst all the awesome fight scenes and shootouts, it's easy to forget that this is all taking place on Christmas Eve at a company Christmas party. But the fact is, John McClane wouldn't have even been there to save the day if he hadn't been coming home for the holidays to try and patch things up with his wife. So Christmas is really rather crucial to the whole premise of the film. Time for a superhero entry now. At number three, it's Batman Returns, again directed by our favourite anti-Santa, Tim Burton. As Catwoman and the Penguin rise to prominence, we get to see what a Gotham Christmas looks like, and as expected, it's pretty dark. Firstly, there's the scene where the Penguin gate crashes a Christmas party on a giant rubber duck, and then he causes that riot at the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. 
It's only in the last scene, when Batman and Alfred wish each other a Merry Christmas, that we get something more traditionally festive. Merry Christmas, Mr. Wayne. Merry Christmas, Alfred. Goodwill toward men. And women. So in second place, forget elves and reindeer, our favourite Christmas creatures are those that can't get wet or be exposed to bright lights and who must never, ever be fed after midnight. Yep, Gremlins is our number two pick because it takes the lovely Christmas tradition of exchanging presents and turns it into an actual nightmare. When Billy Pouncer receives a gremlin for Christmas, the cute creature soon spawns an evil reptilian army who terrorise the town, kill an old lady and completely ruin the holidays for everyone. A classic Christmas kids film indeed. Now in the hallowed number one spot on our list, it's another superhero movie and one of the highest grossing films of all time. It's Iron Man 3. Now in classic Shane Black fashion, it's subliminally set at Christmas and begins with a flashback to New Year's Eve in 1999, where we hear of the extremist drug for the first time. Back in the present day, it is the festive season, but instead of cozying up by the fire with pepper pots, Tony Stark goes on a mission to kill Mandarin the terrorist with his army of iron suits. As you'd expect, he does save the day just in time for Christmas and even wraps up the story with a special festive firework display made of his exploding suit. How lovely. What's your favourite anti-Christmas movie? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more geeky videos. Happy Christmas! Hello, you're watching Is there someone in your life who's obsessed with Guardians of the Galaxy? You want to get them the perfect Christmas present that really addresses their obsession, but aren't sure what to buy? Well, we're here to help.